Hi there, it's me again, the Impulse Buyer, and I have actually made something with one of my Impulse Buys. And remember last week I showed you my haul from Hobby Lobby, and I have um, actually done something with one of the wooden frames I, I got. And this is it. I have, can you see that? I've actually distressed it. It, um, it turned out really nice, I think. And it's a technique that's easily done. So I wanted to show you, if I hold it up close, can you see these distressing lines? There you go. The underneath layer is purple. There and there. Oh, that's that shows it good. And see, the underneath layer is purple. <laughs> very, very purple. Because my little granddaughter's a purple girl. Purple girl. And um, then I painted over it with white. And I'll tell you how I did it. I'll put this down here. And um, see if I can go closer to it. Yeah, a little bit. What I did was, it was just bare wood, and I took out the back and the glass and this little uh, piece of paper there, and I painted the whole thing with one coat of this purple acrylic. It was uh, just plain old acrylic craft paint, and I painted the whole thing front, back, and in the grooves here, purple. And I, I let it dry. Uh, I wasn't in a big hurry, so uh, you can take a hair blower, a hair dryer, or a um, heat gun, embossing gun, and you know dry it faster, but I wasn't in any hurry. I just set it aside, let it dry purple. And then the next morning, None of the decorations, of course, was on it. It was all undecorated. The next morning, I had just plain old Elmer's glue. I think it was Elmer's school glue. But anyway, it should be Elmer's glue and not old Elmer's glue. If it's old Elmer's glue and it's gotten thick, then you probably need to add a little bit of water with it to make it uh, spreadable. And I used a disposable foam brush. And actually, I had to do this in two steps because um, this part under here was awkward to get to with this part still wet. So I did the top and the sides here, over here, with, with the Elmer's glue. And I took that foam brush and just slopped it on. I mean, you didn't have to be careful with it. Put a pretty good layer on it not a thin layer and within and then I let it sit maybe a minute and a half and with a new brush I painted on the white paint and you have to you have to do it pretty quickly because actually Elmer's glue dries quicker than you think it would and the white paint grips to the glue so it wasn't hard to do and you can just um, try to stroke it all the same way but uh, I painted it on, and almost immediately, this is, I like this one, Here, I'll turn it up like that, the cracks, as the white paint started to dry, and the Elmer's glue remained wet, it started to pull away and reveal the purple underneath. And again, you can use a hair dryer, hair blower, or a heat gun, but the heat gun will make it bubble if you're not careful, so I just left it dry overnight again. And then I did the same thing. It didn't take any time at all. Actually, I think I just put the Elmer's glue on my fingers to do the grooves on the insides because uh, it didn't really take a paintbrush. And then I had a, a small paintbrush to do the white paint on the inside. And that I let that dry the rest of the day. And then the next evening, as you can see, I don't know if you can, I had some st 
strung fake pearls, a whole roll, roll of them, and I don't know where I got them, but I'm, I bought them thinking, surely I can use these somewhere. So that was, I just ran a line of gem tack around here. Where's the other one? All the way around, because there, there is actually a little groove in the frame. And then just laid it in there, let them, this one I see is a little wet, but I'm not wet, but loose. See, but it doesn't matter because I glued it down with everything else. <clears throat> then I layered some silk flowers that I got at my local craft shop. Stuck a green bling in there. And then I had these left over. I had three or four of these little things from a sewing notion I had left over. So I stuck those on there. And then I found, and it's a very, a little see-through leaf. Can you see it there? And uh, this is a piece of gemstone, or am it's a piece of amethyst that's been unpolished. I just stuck it on there through the leaf with the gem tack. And with gem tack, you, you don't mash it down in there. You let it sit on the on the gem tack and let it uh, dry without you mashing it in and having it spread all over the place. And these little feathers here I found in my stash. And these are just some little beads that I squirted some gem tack on the feathers and just dropped the beads in. So that turned out kind of cute, I think. I hope I haven't put it too close. I did not bother doing anything besides painting the back because it just really wasn't necessary. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Once this layer of paint dries on the Elmer's glue, it's a little fragile. You could peel it off. So I put Mod Podge over the top of it. Just slopped it on there. Um, that way you can handle the frame without the fear of um, your crackling becoming flaking. <laughs> So uh, there is a layer of Mod Podge to finish it off. You could probably use an acrylic craft spray too, but I use Mod Podge because that's what I have a lot of. So there you are. I've got a teeny weeny little frame. I don't know what I did with it. But um, it's sort of an off-white pearl. So I'm going to put a 4x6 picture in there. I'm not going to put a 5x7. And this just turned out more than I expected. It's easy to do. And if you're patient, you can, you know, do it in just a, l a little while and let it sit aside while you do something else. Uh, I think it turns out better that way. It doesn't bubble. And uh, give it a try. You'll like it. Okay. And this one has a little thing. It will sit up. Okay. Thank you.